Okay, so I pulled the uh, front deck off, started investigating to figure out what might be going on a little better. And the, uh, the trains are not an issue. They're virtually, I mean, really close to the same. And on the side that was lower, you know, if anything, the chines are actually a little bit higher on the outside. So, you know, that's obviously not going to contribute to dropping the right side of the boat. Um, so I set this bulkhead in there, you know, to, to compare um, how it's set in, you know, from panel to panel. And on the left side of the boat, pretty tight fit, bottom and on the sides. Um, on the right side of the boat, nice big gap, the bottom and the side. So it's like the, the right side of the boat is just entirely lower. And I don't believe it's lower because of the assembly of the front of the boat. Um, you know, the way you put pressure on things and such, um, it just wouldn't do that. Um, so looking at these, uh, these rails here, put a straight bar across it and what you find is pretty large gap on the right side. So the front of these side rails are over bent inward and down. Um, you know, in the back, they're actually pretty flat and even. So, you know, on the left side is less of an inward bend, which you can generally see just looking down, and it's obviously bent in. You know, there's less of a gap, still, still a pretty good gap there. So, measuring the sides of the boat, uh, measuring the angle here, just um, on the flat section before you get to the front where it starts to curve, they're the same. So this side bend here at least seems to be equal from left to right. And and this this rail here is pretty flat in the back. But when it gets to the front, it's just bent down. So I don't know what happened in the bending pro process, but one side didn't turn out the same as the other. Um, you know, I had to put a lot of pressure lifting this up. It's actually pretty hard to move. It's pretty stiff to match it with the deck. You know, I had to use clamps and um, kind of vise it together to tack it, which I don't know, maybe it should have been a, a signal at that point not to bother tacking it on. I don't know, but um, so the bottom of the right side of the boat is just simply lower than the left side. And the center keel section, which you know ends here, this just starts that next bottom panel. Um, you know you you weld on flat bar on the bottom and that sets the angle of the boat or of the bottom of the boat. It's that bottom piece that runs through here is set, the angle set off of the keel. So if the right keel is lower than the left keel, um, the right boat is gonna be lower than the left of the bottom of the boat. So when I took it into the fab shop to have it rebent, I think they'd focused on the back where the transom sits, because that's what I told them. I showed them, gave them the transom and the keel said, Hey, you know, look at this. The, the angles are not even the same. So I asked them to bend it, rebend it, to match the transom. Well, something's a lot easier to bend when you have a flat spot. You know, in this in this middle section, it's flat. As you get to the front, you don't have anything. So, what I believe is that original bad bend is still affecting the front of that keel. It's hard to measure because I got things welded on top of it, 
and there's no flat spot as for a reference point of what level is, you know, and that um, bow brace is tagged in, but <clears throat> that's all I can figure because everything else is normal, you know, when we weld these in, you know, just like the instructions, you weld it up close to the front, leaving about the last eight inches unwelded or tacked, as the instruction said. Um, so I think these side rails are, you know, they're not causing the left, the right side of the boat to be that much shorter. And the thing is, if, if you have a quarter inch off it, of a, a lower angle on that keel out at the edge of it, you know, you still got another 18 inches or so out here, that quarter inch is exacerbated, you know, and turns into <laughs> whatever that height difference is going to be out at that, at that length. So, you know, the keel, the keels, there's keel, uh, these strips on out here, they're really close to the same. I mean, there, there's very little difference there. It certainly isn't going to drop the right side of the boat that much. So, you know, at this point, I don't, I don't know how to solve that. You know, especially when you got everything welded in on top of it. You know, I'd have to have a different angle from the keel to this outer hole plate. And I'd have to reasonably be able to guess what that is. Or I'd have to disassemble everything that I've done and take it in and try and get it bent again. So, you know, that's where it's at. It's just... <laughs> You know, to get that bent, it's too strong for me to just grab it and bend it up if this thing can happen. So I could almost live with that being tilted in on the lid where it matches the lid, you know, as just an aesthetic issue. You know, it's not professional, but it doesn't look like anything on this boat's going to be at this point. Um, it's certainly not going to look that way. So... Yeah, I don't know. That's that's where it's at. It's like either just f flip and finish it off crooked, maybe maybe tack these in, this thing in on both sides. You know, just tack it in really good, or just weld it, and then try and suck that up somehow. At least at this point, um, you know, get it get it to raise up, which I have no clue how to do because. <laughs> With everything is connected, you know, how are you supposed to pull that up? First of all, you'd have to hold the boat down and it'd be a lot of pressure. So that didn't even seem reasonable. Um, you know, I suppose with the rest of this, this front end taken apart and just these two being the only two things you're dealing with, you know, if you correct it here possibly, you know, I don't know how it's going to affect back here where the lid matches up to this rail by just pulling this section up. There's still going to be un unequal back here, which is where it was showing up before when you looked at it. So, you know, maybe try and screw with this front end, which might be, manip you know, be able to manipulate, but, um, yeah, it's actually worse than I was thinking. I thought, well, maybe if the, these side bends were just the problem, I could just pull pull the panels off, take them in, and have them bent equal, and you know the height I think they might should be. But it really doesn't appear that that's where the problem's at. You know, other than over bending the front of this rail, you know that, that doesn't help. It obviously pulls down, when, especially when you got to lift it up to attach it to the deck, and it's under an extreme amount of pressure. You know, you take your clamps off and it's just, it's just grinding the thing down as well. And it's obviously lower on that bend than it is on the, on that. So, you know, maybe it contributed, but I don't see how it accounts for everything, especially that. 
those gaps down there. So if anybody has any ideas, 